Hey folks, Chris Holden here with a follow-up video to the UDK reflection video from yesterday. This one I'm going to cover cube maps and environment maps. Um, here we have an example of a cube map, which is the, the sphere in the center of the room. Let me hit G to go into game mode so you can see without it. It's, just, you know, it's causing reflections. This is good for uh, reflections all over the walls, and as opposed to yesterday's, which is just good for a flat surface. Now this is a scene capture cube map actor. A pretty big name, and if you can see, you see when you move its position, uh, the reflections in the walls change as well. Which is uh, pretty fun to play with, but when you actually make a level, you want to make sure the height is around player level. Um, so, yeah, you can go to the actor classes, scene, capture, cube map, actor, add one to the scene. Here's what a blank one looks like it's just a, a black sphere with, um, because there's no texture assigned to it yet. Um, the actual texture, let me just go ahead and apply the one I have as a Texture render target cube. We just apply that just like a just like in yesterday's video. Most most of the stuff is all the same. You can see it working there. Disable and reactivate real quick. So that's pretty much a, the same as the other sphere. But um, we're not going to worry about that one right now. Um, anyway, to make a new one, you need to make a texture render target cube. When you make one of these, it's a lot like the one. Uh, where you get the X and Y, but this one's just the X, and you can adjust that height and size as much as you want, but again, this is it. the bigger it is, the more expensive it is. Uh, the material for that's really simple. We just take the uh, texture render target cube texture, put it in a texture sample, give that a vector transform and a reflection vector, and you can put that into the diffuse or spec, whatever you want to do, however you want to set that up. Um, look those up. The actual vector transform is just called a transform. So it changes depending on which version of Unreal you're using. And again, just toughen the reflect and you get the reflection vector here. And if you need to, there you can drop the texture sample in. Actually, this is a parameter. That's good if you want to put in something custom and name it, but I don't want to use that just because I want this to look organized and clean. Let's use a standard texture sample for now. But really, that's it, just those three expressions. Um, the next one is an environment map. This one, uh, here's a quick example on the default cube scene here. Uh, this one is a bit more like a brush metal texture I'm using. Uh, you could take a picture of like a sky and make it a tile. Uh, let's look at that real quick. The texture here is just this little simple brush metal here. Whoops, zoomed in too far. Um, but you could take a picture of the sky or a room you're in, make it tile. And this is just a very simple tiling texture. It's like a 128. Um, with this, you need to use a mask, a vector transform, and a reflection vector. And again, I'm just adding it to the diffuse. Very simple setup here. Yeah, let's run it in games and get a closer look at that. Oh, and gotta save. Always remember to save. If something else work, if something's not working, you might not have saved. And again, hope this helps. Thanks for watching.